Hey guys, Contact Holder 46 here. Welcome back to part 40 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We're starting off on the final day because I finally decided to beat this game. Now that I got all the masks that I can get, except for this one, but that we were gonna get that one because we have all the other masks. I was thinking of doing some side quests, but I figured, nah, I can just do that after I beat the game. And besides, a multiple of 10, like 40, just seems like a good episode, or a good number to start off, like, the beginning of the end of the game. So, yeah, here, uh, here goes. All we gotta do, really, is just like what we did in the very first part of this series, is just, uh, wait for the moon to start falling. So, I'm gonna assume, I guess I can just do that right now. So, yeah, let's do that. Well, hold on, let's take, I wanna take this off first. But yeah, um, I'll cut to when it's, um, whatchamacallit, uh, 12 o'clock. Although, actually, there's one thing I just want to show. It's not a big thing, but it's a small, like, a thing I wanted to show. Um, every time you play the song of Double Time, the area reloads. And as you saw right there, I actually got the heart again. Because that heart spawns at each day, so, yeah. Uh, if you're running low on health, then you can get a heart on the first day, and then the first night, for second day, for second night, third day, and then third night. So that's like six hearts right there. But anyway, um, there's nothing really more for us to do other than just to simply wait for the um, moon to fall, so I'll cut it to when it's about to be 12 o'clock. Alright, it's almost 12 o'clock, so that means we're almost about to be able to uh, move on with this game. But yeah. Uh, actually, I was thinking I was going to say something, but nah, I'll just let the cutscene play out. Oh, that's weird. Link's not there in that scene. Anyway, I know we've seen this cutscene many times, but now this is going to be the second time we actually go up in here, so let's see what awaits us. This cutscene's actually going to play out a little differently now. Sis! Tail! Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry! The four who are there, bring them here. Shut up, don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. I, I don't think he said shut up. I don't know why I said that. That's it! I won't let you- I won't let things go the way you want them to. Or ex expect them, whatever. Well, whatever. See, he said it for me. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Ben Drown Scream Commence. Alright, so now what we gotta do is, um, this. There we go, I forgot it. I'll be quiet for this cutscene too, because it's pretty.
Man, that cutscene always gets to me, man. It looks so cool. It... It stopped. I also like how they're not holding it. They're holding, like, the area, like, the fire around it, but I guess it still holds it up. And then one of the giants, like, got his foot clipped through a fountain. Anyway, whatever. We did it! It stopped! Sis! Tail! Good. We made it in time. The giant's call worked on this worked on the Skull Kid. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait, sis. Don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad for him hitting you so much? He was lonely. The Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That is not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. She's got a point. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's cause he doesn't know his place. On top of having weak will he and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly he had too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that that's right, admit it, your admit your stupidity. Wait, huh? Puppet that can no longer be used is mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. Can't be! Then that moon? Ah, so now we see the real villain of this game. It wasn't Skull Kid, it was a mask. But sure is mask. Also, that's just terrifying, oh my god. I shall consume, consume everything. Yeah, that big gaping mouth of yours. Ooh. Ah, this isn't good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Hurry, the song of time. The song of time. Ah, oh, no, you've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there. I won't do it. You go by yourself. I'm staying here with Tail. I'll go. What? What are you saying, Tail? Is something wrong with you? I don't always want to be running away. If I have been stronger, the Skull Kid wouldn't have... I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've gotten really stubborn, just like someone else I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. Wait, so Tail's just gonna stay here? Man, it would've been cool if we got to use Tail for the last bit of the game, and Tattle, but then again, not really that cool, actually. But anyway, here we are, we're inside the moon, which has a, its own sort of plane of existence, since if you look at the bottom, there is no time. We're like in another world or something. Uh, so, we can stay here for as long as we want. We have no consequences. We can actually... There's, there should be an invisible wall out here. Yeah, this goes actually extends for quite a while. Big old plane and clouds in the background. I used to think those were mountains when I was a kid, but when I got up close, they, I can see that they're very much clouds. And there's its own sky and sun and atmosphere in this world. But anyway, our goal is to go to that tree, that very conspicuous tree in the middle of everything. Because there are going to be some kids walking around. Now, if we want to, um, we don't have to talk to any of these kids. We can go and immediately talk to this kid, who's wearing Majora's Mask. And then we can fight the final boss. But I'm going to do the quest to get the... Fierce Deity Mask, which is to talk to these kids. So I'm going to talk to Old Wall, Old Old Wall first. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Mask. You have a lot. You too? Will you be a mask salesman? Then I'll play with you. So, the masks. Give me some. 
All right, so this guy is going to demand that we give him some masks. So I'm going to give him some of the, the useless mask. Like that one and like this one too. Because I'm going to want to keep some of my useful masks, like the blast mask and the bunny hood and all that. But anyway, he's going to be like, thanks, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek, let's play. Okay, so I guess we only need to give one mask to this guy. But we're eventually going to have to give all our masks away. All right. I'll hide. These moon children are really weird. They always wear their mask, and although they kind of look like the happy mask salesman if you look at their head, apparently it's not like the same face if you take the texture away or something. I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, those guys are talk they talk really weird too. Like, they say weird things like. Like, is this face that you have on, is that your real face, or is that a mask? I wonder what a real face would look like. And some tells me they're not just talking, like, superficially, like, like, an actual mask. Like, if they're, I think, I always get the idea that they're talking about, like, a fake personality, and what you really are. Not, like, who you act. But anyway, let's see what this says. Seems Kremia... Okay, so these, I think all these gossip stones tell you where the mask locations are um i'm gonna check this other gossip stone and if it just tells me where another mask is then i'm simply just going to uh, assume that they all do whoa sound change pitch oh uh, now okay it's back to normal ah okay so um yeah, it just tells us where the masks are. But we don't need that anymore because we have all the masks. So anyway, just like that Deku minigame we played, we gotta time our, um, whatevers. I'm pretty sure those also just have regular, um, or those gossip stones have mask info as well. Oh, is that a, that's a piece of heart. I didn't even think it would get pieces of heart this late into the game. But hey, there's one right there. Got a piece of heart, okay. Does this one say anything different? Yep, okay, they had the couple's mouth. Alright, well, we knew that. Hopefully I can actually make it over there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna try. Nope. We're just gonna respawn way at the beginning, unfortunately. That's just how this is. However, it doesn't look like we lost any life. I don't know if that's because of our double defense that it just makes it look like we didn't lose any life, but we actually lost like an eighth of a heart. But since there's no texture for an eighth of a heart, it just shows that. But yeah, I don't know. Um. Of course, I'm gonna go for the gold flower because that one's like just obviously better because he shoots you like twice as high. And we're gonna be needing to go pretty far. So, oh, oh, get in. Ah, crap. I'll cut it to when I uh, actually make it to that platform so I don't eat up more of your time. Alright, so it turns out you actually needed the gold flower because I'm pretty sure with the regular flower you wouldn't be able to actually get over these um, tree trunks. But anyway, with that we can actually go out over here and... Whoa, that's weird. Just like moon face things. Hmm. And he's got his own little room with sky paintings on it. And somewhat wood themed. But anyway, we're gonna... Um, We'll give him this mask. Because he's going to ask for another mask. He's going to say, You found me. Hey, I want more masks. So let's give him the circus leader's mask. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. 
Um, can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? Weird. Anyway, we get sent back out here, and if we, um... Try to find old Ola again, we won't be able to because now he disappeared. Um, let's talk to Goat next. Where's Goat? No, that's Gyorg. And that's Twin Mold. So, uh, that one must be Goat. Let's see. This mask, that mask, and, uh, why not this mask too? They don't really do anything. Ah, nice weather. Alright, let's be... Alright. Same thing, but this time... He says that. More! Thanks, you're a nice person. Alright, so now we're gonna have to... Do a somewhat tricky Goron... Uh, parkour level, I guess. Um... Wow, I have, like, nothing on here. I think you might need this. I don't know. You're definitely gonna need magic, which is why there's a ton of it, like, right here. But yeah, so... I'm gonna try to do this. Hopefully it doesn't take me, like, ten hours to do this. Ah, crap. Alright, so yeah, if you mess up like that, you can take these warps. Uh, standing on these things will take you right back to the beginning. And then pretty much like the perfect spot. But yeah, um, you're supposed to use this chest and hit him at a 90 degree angle so that you bounce like that. And I think I just kind of clipped through the floor or something. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to try one more time and then I'm just going to cut it if I keep messing, messing up. Alright, so I was having trouble, right? Well, then I realized that the easiest way to actually do this is to not even touch the control stick. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but Link will just bounce at 90 degree angles, which this path just so happens to follow. So you literally just hold A, and yeah, as soon as you break these pots, you let go of A. I mean, unless you're some, like, super master pro and you want to, like jump that, but I'm not even sure what you get from that. So I think... Oh, shoot. Alright, first of all, I'm pretty sure these are just going to give us information on mask. Yeah, okay. Because I feel like there's somewhere... I feel like there's a piece of heart in here, too. I'm just going to put this on a useless mask and I'm planning on giving it away this too. Okay, it looks like I'm trying to get to that area over there. Yeah, because that's got a heart piece on it. This looks like it just goes back to the beginning. Yeah, that's, that, that's exactly what this does. Why would you want to go back to the beginning? Oh, it's a trick. Okay, you're supposed to think that you can go this way, but you can't. Well, there's no ramp, so I can't jump that way. Or maybe that's actually a shortcut, like, back. Yeah, like right here, it looks pretty dangerous to be just like rolling around so it's a good thing they give you a bit of area to steer but still not much I like how the moon is still rumbling All right. well obviously that's where we're supposed to go but what I want to know is how do I get 
over there to where that heart piece is. Because that would be very useful to have. Oh, something tells me I'm going to have to... Something tells me I'm going to have to use this path. And I'm going to have to, like, jump over it. Um... Let's just see where that would take us. Alright, so if we jump over here, and we follow this path, we would jump and land over there, which will loop around. Huh. Alright, so I think I kind of have a game plan. Um, I th think. Oh man. This just got a whole lot trickier now, though. But, I think I can try to attempt it. I think this is, like, the right way to go about things. So I'm gonna try it right now, and if it doesn't work, again, I'll just clip it out. Yeah, alright, I'm, I'm gonna clip that, clip this whole section here. Oh man, I finally made it. That took me forever. And honestly, once I like, got past like that third turn, I actually never got that far before. So I started like freaking out and I almost fell off. I'm like, oh my god, please don't. Man though, I'm, I'm so glad that I managed to get that heart piece. Man, the things I'll do for side quest items. But anyway. Uh, it looks like we have this path back, which is pretty much what I thought it was. Um, at first I thought it was like a trick, but then I said it's probably like a shortcut back. And yeah, I can see that it actually is a shortcut back. And of course we're gonna fail, because why not. But fortunately this part's really easy. Like I said, after I figured out that all you have to do is once the spikes come out, you just hold A. This part has become incredibly easy. You don't even have to do really anything except, well, hold A. So, bounce off one more time, and then right when you break these pots is like when you stop. They give you enough give, so, yeah. Anyway, you stop here, and then, um... There's like that little warp thing. So, you can't really start from back there. Because then you'll get caught up in this thing, which will warp you back, I think. I'm going to try to align myself. Hopefully this gives me enough room. Alright, it did. Thank goodness. Alright. Very good. Alright, so now I can go through here and see what this guy has to say. His room looks exactly the same, except the floor is red now. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Alright, let's give him this mask. And this mask. We don't need those. Yeah, thanks, you're nice. You. What makes you happy? I wonder. What makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? Weird. Man, this, these guys are like philosophers, man. Talking about who your friends are, what they think of you, your happiness, who your true self is, and whatnot. But yeah, I think this episode's gone on for long enough. So, I think I'll end off part 41 here. Or 40 here. And I'll go right into part 41 in uh, just a second for me. But yeah. And I guess it'll be just a second for you, because I'm going to upload these all at the same time. So, yeah. With that, uh, I hope you guys like this series. 
Be sure to check out the playlist to see where all my other Majora's Mask video are, videos are. Also check out my uh, Wind Waker playlist if you're into this sort of video of these Let's Plays. And um, yeah, stick around for the future to see what else I put out. I'll be happy to see you guys there. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.